Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 136 of... Uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and we are... We are trying to eliminate... See, we're currently single-handedly elimini eliminating the different lords of the... Uh, of the Northern Empire. I... Uh, Taking them down one by one. The problem is that our own our own uh, team leaders, uh, Idanor and Mitara, I think has been taken. I don't understand it, but yeah, they have been taken. So So I think only Taya is still running around. Maybe it's time to. Uh... And that was I, that was the case I was hoping for. We will go up against the Northern Empire, and then we will uh, we will use them to help level up our our people. But apparently that's not happening. Uh, our people. Apparently, uh, are getting creamed. Uh, <sighs> Imperial crossbowman. Imperial horseman archer. Equites. We just don't have the reach right now. Jeez. I am so disappointed with our Sturgeon Soldier. Oh, no, no, no. I think we are way past. Yeah, we are way past. Oh, we can carry 133 prisoners. Oh, did we get one of these guys to join us? I did not realize that. Uh, Sturgeon soldiers. Uh, Imperial. Vigla. Okay. Uh... Wow, they've, they're they're destroying our our property everywhere. You know what? I think uh, let's come back to Cranny Rock Castle. Who are these guys taking on the uh, Western Empire? Uh, hold on. Oh, there's another guy over here. He is only level our Andros party. Uh, okay, let me save this again because uh, we just won another fight. And when I when we took Cranny Rogue Castle, I was expecting that we will be able to capture the people who captured Adamur and uh, Mitara and hopefully we can free them but apparently they are not uh, I'll have to look find out where they are residing because uh, they have they currently have only one castle left and that is way back in Kuzate uh, territory. So if we really, if we really want to wipe them out, we can just go there. I think uh, I'm, I'm getting to the point where that is what I'm considering. Okay, we have a. 
a marriage offer with Lid from Sun has arrived. Lid from Kun. Oh, hopefully she is Kuzate. Kun. Let's check who Kun is. Heroes. Uh, female. Unmarried. And alive, of course, right? <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, okay, Kun. See, I want Anna Hyde. But we had... I don't know why it was not repeated. Uh, Kun, K-U-N, I-J-K. Oof! Ooh! She is 22. Kuzate. Why is she so all negative traits? Uh, generosity represents... No, she's not generous. Devious uh, honor represents respecting your... Uh, and then what's this? Sadistic mercy represents your general aversion to su suffering. What does she have? She is tactics, I think. Oh, charm and writing. Do we want her? Kun, 22 years old. She is on the older side. Uh, Chechek? What's Chechek? Chechek is also 20? Oh, 20! I wish it was Chechek. Uh, you know, then Kun is 22. How about Din? Oh, too young. Uh... I think Kun, we should be able to work with her. Okay. Um, let's go. So Kun is 22. How old is Lid? Let's check our own. How old is Lid? Lid is our son, actually. Yeah, he's our son. He's 20. And he's the potential heir. Yeah, that is what we've been looking for. Kun, right? This is Kun. Uh, here, I'm right with for lead from Kun. Let's accept it. The 15th day of summer, 1107, Kun married Lid. Yes. Cool. So, she is two years older than our son, but that's fine. I think they're still young enough. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. And then, what is the other one? Okay, that, that's their marriage. And this is, has come of age. He, he is at 16. Uh, okay, what? So that's, again, our son. He looks like us, right? <laughs> They're all, they gave them the same face. Okay, so we are three social, three intelligence. Um, as a noble's ward. Oh, Bo gains one, focus, no. Um. Uh, Apprentice, uh, engineering, no, we don't need as an aide. Oh, no, as a squire, no. Um, as an envoy, charm charm goes up, right? Oh, charm goes up. Find his own way, uh, that's endurance. What is the noble's word again? Uh, Bo gains one focus point and five skill points. Uh, why is his control so high? He's going to grow up to be an, a warrior. An apprentice. Uh, engineering goes up. In, oh, intelligence goes up too. But as a ward, control goes up. Oh, okay. Two things go up. As an envoy, his charm goes up and social goes up by one. Okay. Because we want leadership also. Uh, next. 
you ask your you ask your head of expedition to make sure that your son uh, helps and in medicine gains one that's not bad dabbles in intrigue ro roguery burnishes social skills oh we have too many of that never back down from a challenge enjoy the pleasures of the hunt never lets his guard down cunning I think we want a little bit on writing okay roguery gains one point no no let's come over here we want to pick up uh, wow go to the garrison we want to pick up some troops over here which we bring over Let's get these uh, Batanian um, skirmishers recruit. We just we we just need bodies. Uh, Woodrunner. Highborn youth. You know what? It's the other way around. I think all these sturgeons should be should be in that uh yeah because uh those are stir that's a sturgeon uh castle so they will automatically spawn uh sturgeons uh like sturgeon um yeah sturgeon recruits And Vyar, yeah, all of these, yeah. Whatever sturgeons are, we should, yeah, put it on the other side, like spearmen. Uh, because, yeah, they will naturally spawn sturgeon and imperials, maybe, right? Yeah, sturgeons and imperials. Uh, Batanian, imperial infantrymen. Sergeants, Sturgeons, Sturgeon recruit, Soldiers, Imperial Legionary. It makes sense because all of these guys are all Batanians and Valendians. Yeah, okay, that makes that makes Imperial Butcherel. But there might not be enough people on that side. Huh, right? There might not be enough people. Because we have 401 over here, and a lot of it is Batanian highborn warriors. And a youth. Oh, they're all archers here, Batanian. You know what? Let's move the militia archer over. Yeah. Okay.
Cranny Rog. Wait, uh, hold on. Let us check our party. Let's see where they are. I mean, uh, parties. Jeez, only Taya is alive. Members, Bisag. Nuvina Kun staying at Carbon Seth Hide Hybel Adenor Wow Adenor staying at Umbrella okay Okay we need to summon them um How do we summon them? Uh, I think through here, right? I think, man. Uh, wow. And then, uh, Mitara. Man, I can't believe this. How did they? Oh, man, okay. You know what? I did not leave the prisoners here. I am out of my mind. No, no, let's come over here. I want to sell all our prisoners. They'll come and raid this. That's fine. And then we will have time. Let's come over here. Wow. So they're going to try to lay waste to this. Keep moving, quick. Yep, they are starting to lay waste to that thing again. I should not have kept all those prisoners. Go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Manage the prisoners. Let's put these guys in. Right. And who are the who are the people here? Hired crossbow. Who can we hire? What, what, what can we put? So there are what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Manage the garrison. No, no, no. Uh, sell the prisoners. Go back to the keep. 
go to the dungeon manage the prisoners we'll take all of these guys and then we will take the these no no not all of them because uh, if we have like a wide variety of them then there are more chances that one of them will uh, come to our side not not a lot would come to our side but some of them might so we just need to have a variety Druznik Okay, we have 36. That should not slow us down too much, right? And then uh Done. And then let's go to the garrison. I think we cleared out. Oh, we have a lot of. Uh... Okay. What is our speed? Oh, our speed is 5.3. Cool. Cool. We can come here very quickly. We can move quickly now, five point plus rather than four point something. What is speed? What is his speed? Five, we can we can catch this guy. What? He's five or five point four. We're gonna catch all of them. It's been a while. Oh, the militia in the village joined us. <laughs> you know, that's interesting, you know. Uh, how come when we uh, were relieving one of our castle, the militia did not join us? You know, like when we, the three parties um, together, Bitara, Taya, and uh, Aydanur, they took on Peric's army, uh, the militia did not come and join them. Wow, this is a mass of people. Oh, this guy's in a camel. That guy's are our people. <laughs> I was wondering, ooh.
Whoa, I'm chopping into a tree, come on! Who's this guy over here? Oh, the guy, I think, must be the head honcho. Pretty soon, all of them will be under our banner. I mean, we have all of them in our possession. Okay. Yeah, we need to give the... Uh, the <laughs> infantry to okay you are my prisoner now uh, Imperial Archer we'll get this guy you know what we don't want the prisoners anymore right we don't want no let's just let them go we are not hurting for money Okay, let's come back here to this castle. We have a lot of... Uh... Anyway, uh, there goes our timer, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!